All right, so I know you guys are pretty excited to take a look at our Pretty Actions Blossom Overlays collection. Um, this collection is entirely addictive in a good way. Um, it's so much fun to play with. I, in fact, I was planning on giving you guys two previews for the collection and ended up with a total of five. So we're going to try and breeze through these here. I'm going to show you how versatile this collection is, how easy it is to make your images dreamy, um, and just give them that extra pop with these blossom and shrub overlays that are included in this collection. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a peek. Um, I'm just going to start up here in the beginning because I like to go in order. <laughs> and um, this is what we're going to add to this image, kind of like a, a green... Um, grass or some sort of shrubbery here in the uh, foreground that it looks like you're peeking through and it kind of frames the image very nicely. This is the before and this is the after. So I'm just going to take all of this and throw it in the trash so, so I can show you how it is applied. Um, so I have my Pretty Actions Blossom applicator open and I'm going to click on uh, Blossom and Shrub Applicator and press play and continue. I'm going to read my handy instructions there. And we're going to choose Lush Greenery number five. Click place. And um, you can shift click to keep the proportion and kind of resize that until it's working well with your image. A little bit bigger there. There we go. Okay. And press enter to place it when you're done. Now, if you made a mistake, don't worry. The actual overlay is down here at the bottom. If you just click on it, it says blossom overlay. Make sure your little move tool is selected and that there's a check mark in the show transform controls and you can grab it and move it around some more and resize it. So don't worry if you accidentally press enter and it wasn't correctly resized. Okay, so notice I have all these additional options that I can add to my overlay here. Now, the cool thing is that these will apply to just the overlay and not your entire image because we do realize that there are so many different shades of green and there are different seasons where green turns to orange. And we have a, a very easy way to control the color of your greens and also the color boost of the florals as well. So let's take a look here. So if I click on my blossom overlay and turn it off, notice the tones here are kind of a little bit cooler, a little bit less green than the overlay. So I'm going to click on cool the temp and turn it on. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take the opacity down to zero. I'm just gonna work my way up here. Notice how that's starting to match the greenery. I'm gonna click on less green as well. That takes away quite a bit of the green. So I'm gonna take that down to zero and just work my way up until I feel it's working well with the image. Now I can also make, uh, make it a little bit darker, brighter. I kind of liked the, the darker tones here so it really helps with framing your kind of your you have the shrubbery in the foreground working a little bit as a vignette as well it just really leads your eye in towards the subject real quick before and after okay now I could also warm the temp notice how that gives you it's quite warm right so this would work amazingly well for those autumn toned images um, you can bring it up to make it a little bit more red but of course we're not going to do that <laughs> We're going to take the opacity down because that just doesn't go with the green tones in our image. Um, and this is actually a little bit more like it. I really like that. Okay, bam. Super easy, super fun, and gorgeous. <laughs> um, we love doing before and after, so I just had to show you that. Uh, okay, so we're going to add these uh, beautiful orange flowers to this vertical image. Whoops. Okay, I didn't quite get everything in the trash there. There we go. Okay, that's looking a little bit more like it. Um, so there are some orange florals in the background here. It's kind of hard to see with the bokeh, but I wanted to add some more orange to the foreground. So again, we're going to make sure our action is highlighted and press play. Our handy instructions are there. We're going to press continue. 
and navigate down. Uh, you have some vertical blossom overlays included in your collection. So I'm just going to select vertical blossom two and press place. And there we go. I'm actually really liking that. Move it down just, yeah, let's go ahead and just move it down a little bit here and press enter. And I want to show you something. Um, let's go down and click on our block, uh, blossom overlay. I'm going to click on the layer mask, which is the white rectangle directly next to my actual overlay. Now, notice that uh, I'm going to click on the brush here. Um, the overlay ends here because I pulled it down, so it ends right here close to the top and you can see the line where uh, that happens. It's kind of a sharp drop off there. So I'm going to soften that out again by clicking on the layer mask, selecting my brush tool. We're going to make sure black is the foreground color. And I like to work with a mid to low opacity. So we'll just keep that at 30, around 35. Okay, I'm just going to keep clicking up towards the top. Notice how that line is fading. It's kind of hard to see it over here where the trees uh, and the leaves are. I'm just going to click over there as well. Okay, and that goes for anything. If you want to remove any part of the overlay, um, I like to work with a low opacity just to keep it looking nice and natural and soft. Okay, but I just clicked around a little bit there and removed some of the overlay and just softened the edges a bit for this particular purpose. Okay, um, now there is add blur at the bottom. So if you want to add a little bit more bokeh, you can do that. Click on the actual layer to change the opacity. Okay, and we're going to breeze through this. This is from the same session as the last image. So I already know I'm going to cool the temp. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth. And we're going to take down the greens just a little bit. Notice how I'm clicking on the actual layer before I change the opacity. Now you can make that darker. I don't like that for this particular image, so I'm going to keep it as is. I'm actually going to lighten it just a little bit. All right, and let's look at that before and after. Bam just adds the a perfect whimsical touch to this image and adds that nice pop of color too. I really love it. Um, okay, so let's move on to image number three. This one was a lot of fun because I actually added the same overlay on each side of uh, the image. So this is the before and then after kind of framing out the image. I think we're peeking through some bushes uh, at the family here. So really cute and intimate. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how this one was done. Uh, we're going to play our action, press continue. This is lush greenery number nine. And we're going to press place. Okay, uh, whoops, let me go ahead and move this around here. I wanna make this one a little bit smaller on this side. I believe this is about the right size. Again, you can shift click to keep the proportions. Press enter when you're ready. Um, now this is definitely too green for this image. Uh, so I'm gonna cool the temp just a little bit. That really tends to help with taming the green tones. Less green. I think I want to warm it up, maybe just a little bit of warmth. I might lessen the green just a bit more and maybe make it a little bit cooler. Perfect. I love that. I'm going to add a little bit more blur to this one as well. I really like the, the nice bokeh feeling. Now, here's what you want to do if you decide to add more than one blossom or shrub overlay to your image. You'll simply want to flatten. And if you have Photoshop CC um, or CS3 so through CS6, you can take a snapshot, uh, open your history panel, new snapshot, you can name it, press OK. That way, if you need to, you can go back to this point in your edit. That does not, however, work for elements. Okay, so I'm going to layer 
flatten image. Yes, okay. And now I'm going to run my action again. Grab the same lush greenery overlay. Select place. This time I'm going to press edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Bam. Super easy, guys. And I'm just going to move this over. I'm not even going to resize it. Yeah, I think that might be a little bigger than I had the original there, but it's just, yeah, maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. Um, press enter. And we'll just want to go through and add, you know, kind of add the same coloration that you had with the other overlay. I really love how super easy it is to match this really to any photo, any green tone, because there really are so many different colors uh, and tones of green. Some are more yellow, um, some are cooler, and these apply only to the overlay itself, so you don't have to worry about touching the rest of the image or having to apply it to the entire image and then erase it uh, off of particular parts of the image. It's just super, super easy and comprehensive to use. Okay, so we're gonna add a blur to this as well. More blur, more bokeh. I love it, before and after. Actually, I'll do it this way. Okay, before and after. Bam, super fun, super simple. Um, and easy to do guys literally you can see why I had so much fun <laughs> with these previews and just had to add on more for you guys to see because they just are that cool okay so we're gonna add some pretty florals to this image there we go press play we're gonna follow the instructions um, okay so pretty blossoms number three I wanted to show you that you can use a horizontal oriented overlay for a vertical image if you'd like absolutely why not um so i'm going to select that and press place now notice that it, it still is in that horizontal orientation so um you're gonna have to resize that to fit with your image i kind of like it right around there I'm gonna press enter Okay, so let's go ahead and combat these greens because it's definitely too much green for this image. I'm going to warm it up quite a bit. Okay, less green. You want to make it darker because I feel like this is more of a deeper, darker, richer edit. Um, let me play with the cool temp and see what that does. Okay, and I'm really liking that. Now, I did want to show you the other action that comes with this collection um, called Selective Color Booster. So, what this does is boosts colors that are already existing in your overlay. So. If you select, uh, let's see, orange or red for this image, it's likely not going to do anything because there's no orange or red present. So uh, what I would do instead, let's see if there's any blue. So I feel like there's some cooler tones. To, yep, notice what happens when I press blue. There's some pops of blue there. Maybe magenta. Now that's boosting it quite a bit. So of course we have that versatility of taking the opacity, bringing it down, and just working your way up till you find that it's working for the image. But I did want to show you that. Okay, so last image. I know you're so sad to see this coming to an end. And trust me, I am too. And this is one of my favorite images to play with. I love that we have the palm leaves to add to photos because they look absolutely wonderful on beach photos. Um, they don't even have to be at the beach, maybe somewhere tropical, in a park, but this was fun for this particular image. So before and after, um, I didn't make very many changes with this particular application except making it super large. Um, okay, so... See, I forgot to resize it right at the beginning. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to go ahead and select Blossom Overlay and resize it now. I'm going to make this really big. And the cool thing is, is I can apply this again and maybe rotate it if you want it to look like a lot of palms um, you know, across different parts of the image. I think I want it a little bit bigger even. All I'm doing is shift clicking. Maybe a little smaller. I think I went a little bit overboard there. <laughs> there we go. I'm liking that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do away with that green. I'm going to press enter, less green, make it brighter. Bam, we're done. How fun was that? Okay, thanks so much for tuning in and having some fun with us while using the Pretty Actions Blossom Overlay Collection. It really is super fun to use and, and you're going to fall in love with this collection in literally just two seconds flat. All right, thanks for watching, guys.